The protesters in their numbers made up of various civil society groups and youth converged on the Oba Ovorame Square in city to protest the worsening economic condition and high cost of living in the country. They called on the federal government to put everything in place to ensure that the problem of high cost of living, insecurity, repairs of the nation's refineries and many other problems bedeviling the country are curbed. The protesters also asked that legislators across the country be placed on minimum wage. They condemned the devaluation of the Naira and called on those in authority to reverse the trend. Security personnel drawn from the Nigerian police and the National Security and Civil Defense Corps were on the ground to maintain law and order. The Industry Commissioner of Police, Funcho Adeboye, urged the protesters to ensure peace at the Oba Ovorame Square and other parts of the state. First of all, I want to thank you. I've been begging you people that let every state set a standard for what is called peaceful protest. And with what I've seen, I want to say thank you, thank you, and thank you. Traffic was absent in most parts of the Benin metropolis as vehicles on the roads were few and far between, making traffic very light. In Lagos, the protesters marched through major roads to Alausa where they converged for the exercise. Security personnel comprising of the policemen of NSCDC and others marched with the protesters to the venue designated for the exercise. The story was not any different in the FCT Abuja as the demonstrators gathered at the Moshud Abiola Stadium. There was however violence in Mararaba and Yaya as the military and police engaged protesters. Thomas Sado, ITV News.